I'm going to be rotoscoping over this short clip, and the first step is to export this video as multiple PNG frames. To do this, go up to File, Export, and Add to Render Queue. This at the bottom should pop up. Go down there and click on Lossless. Next, change the format from QuickTime to a PNG sequence. Click on OK and go to the right to render. Here are all the frames that I rendered, and there will be some repeats, so you have to watch out for that. I think out of like 72 frames, I got like 6 repeats. Next, open up Photoshop. You can just click and drag your PNG frame right into Photoshop. Then, if you don't want to draw directly on the clip, go up to Layer, New, Layer. This will create a separate layer that you can draw on and save separately from the clip. Go to the left, click on the paint tool, you can change the size of the brush up top, then you can start outlining. Once you're done drawing, go to layers and click off all the eyes that you don't want to show up in your video. To save your clip, go up to file, save as. You can name your clip whatever you want, but make sure that when you save it, that the number at the end lines up with what number PNG file it is. Change the format from Photoshop to a PNG file. Make sure that you're saving all these files in the same folder. You have to decide the size of your file. I chose medium instead of large because when you put it into Adobe After Effects, if you have a large file, it will take longer to render. Once you've created all your frames, open up Adobe After Effects, then go up to File, Import, Multiple Files, find your PNGs, and just click on the first one. Um, don't click on all of them because it won't work. Make sure PNG sequence is selected, then hit open. Drag your file to the bottom right corner. It's going to look a bit jumpy at first because the program is still loading it all. And you can change the speed of your video. For Adobe After Effects, the default is 30 frames per second. To change this, go up to Composition, Composition Settings. Then go to Frame Rate, and the lower the number, the slower it will be. So if it's 8 frames per second, it'll look like this. Oh, and that pausing at the end is because I haven't cropped my workspace yet, so just go to the right and click that little blue button and pull it in. When you're ready to save your video, go up to File, Export, and Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. And it will probably take a couple seconds to load, so just be patient, I promise it'll pop up. This is what you should eventually see. This first one on the left is for deciding what kind of file it's going to be saved as. And I chose H.264 because it actually means MP4. This middle one is going to choose the quality of your video. If you click this one on the right, then you can choose where it's going to save this on your computer. When you're ready to save, go up and click that little green button. And this may also take a second to load, but if everything's going right, then you should see your video playing at the bottom. And that's it, you're done! This is how my animation turned out. It's 72 frames, 24 frames per second. I hope your animating goes well. Remember to take breaks and drink lots of water.